For more on China's new banknotes and the worldwide counterfeit bills issue, I'm joined by Daniel Michaud. He is the Canadian Police's Counterfeiting Coordinator for the province of Quebec. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, Daniel, we see that the People's Bank of China has now issued a new 100 yuan banknote. It's gone into circulation today and largely because of these counterfeit issues with the old one. So the features that are included here, do you think they will be successful in preventing counterfeits? Well, I've looked at some of these uh, security features and they um, oftentimes the different countries, they will reproduce certain security features are successful, such as, for example, the security thread or the color shifting, in, uh, shifting ink you have on your $100 uh, number. So these are pretty good uh, security features. However, like in Canada, we used to have those on the paper bill. Now we have a polymer bill, which is a lot more effective in preventing counterfeiting. But uh, this is an upgrade for sure for the yuan. All right. Well, the issue is you've still got the old yuan notes in circulation. Now, unless you scrap a currency and launch a completely new one like the euro in 2000, how hard is it to phase in new bills with this improved anti-counterfeit feature and then phase out the older ones? Well, I mean, uh, the important thing is for the uh, governments, so the police, the central banks, to educate the public about what the new security features are on the, on the new bills. And if uh, the public is able to recognize what a real bill for uh, fake is, uh, then they'll easily accept them. And uh, they'll, be, they'll have the reflex to be more willing to accept the new improved bill into uh, you know, the, their day-to-day their -day activities. Now, there are about... $89 billion worth of fake renminbi in China. What impact does that have? Well, like anywhere in the world, uh, it has two impact, like a global one where the uh, central bank is uh, like suffer, will suffer a loss because the public will lose faith into their own currency. So they will tend not to accept it and affects the economy at large of the country. But also, with the, like the day-to-day uh, -day activities of uh, retailers, for example, if they accept a fake bill because they haven't detected it when they got passed, uh, then they, they're stuck with the loss. Usually, like as opposed to with payment cards, such as credit cards or debit cards, uh, the financial institutions will reimburse the retailers. But uh, if you do accept a fake bill, then you suffer the loss. So, so if you sold uh, something for one yuan and you accepted a $100, uh, 100 uh, yuan bill, then you've given back 99 genuine uh, yuans. Uh, you have lost that amount of money and you can't be reimbursed. That's where the, uh, the big losses are on day-to-day -day activities of people. Now, of course, this is not a problem that is uh, typical to China. What are the most counterfeited currencies in the world? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, uh, because uh, the US bill is uh, the most uh, uh, passed currency around the world, it might be just by the sheer number of uh, U.S. bills that it's the U.S. currency, but I, w I can't confirm that uh, with you. However, I can well, say that, for example, can yes? Well, there are about 147 million uh, fake U.S. Uh, dollars circulating around there. That's according to the U.S. Secret Service. But does it actually have an impact on the credibility of the U.S. dollar? Because it doesn't seem to have so far. Well, I guess it's for the U.S. government to answer that. But uh, all I can say is uh, that if the governments invest in better uh, security features on their bills, such as in Canada, where we improve to polymer bills, uh, then the, currency, the uh, counterfeit currency goes down a lot and uh, pretty much takes care of the problem. So that's so why it's important what to invest are the most, so, so given the situation, and it is a worldwide problem, what would you say are the most effective measures that governments are incorporating into new currencies to help in this fight against counterfeit currency? Well, the first thing for any country and current uh, governments is to educate their, their public about the currency they, they will likely uh, see. So the, the national currency, but also the international currencies you can see, like American bills or yuans, possibly, um, the, uh, euros that go around the world. But also, obviously, like in improving the technology, uh, such as polymer, like the substrate of polymer is much more difficult to uh, get for regular people to reproduce. 
So it's a really good way to handle it. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much, Daniel Michaud, the Canadian Police Chief's Counterfeiting Coordinator for the province of Quebec.